Hey, what's good, y'all? It's King Z, and I'm back here on Payday 2 with another DSOD solo video for y'all. So, um, yeah, again, just going down the list, man. And, um, First World Bank is one y'all have seen me do a fuck ton of times. Um, very easy heist. Um, not much to say about it. Like I said, y'all have seen me do this so many times, but. I don't think I actually have a dedicated video for it. So, um, yeah, fuck it. I uh, went and, uh, recorded this shit. So, uh, yeah, man. Easy heist. I try to give you some tips along the way. Uh, this ain't a live com, but, um, I'm, like, commentating over it. So, hopefully, I sync this up fine and, it, and it's not too damn bad. But, yeah, bro. Um, I usually bring, um, trip mines and body bags no need for ecms on here unless you think you're gonna fuck up at the end but uh as long as you shoot everybody like all the civilians and shit or tie them down you'll be all right or um you know don't get caught on your way out uh so then you have to blow up the wall that would be that'd be bad um yeah it's really motherfucking easy man and if you didn't know you can actually hack those boxes before you get the the key card, I don't know, maybe some people didn't know that, shit like that. But yeah, you can actually uh, hack those boxes before you find the manager, and uh, yeah, it can save you a little bit of time if you run into a box first. Nah. Um, I have a tutorial on this site. I'll put a card to that, so um, you have to watch that. You can see, I did some fucking stupid right there. I don't know why I tried to jump across there. He just turned around at bad time. It's whatever. But yeah, when you're up here. Um, you want to try to leave all the guards. You can take one out if you need to. Like I said, there's two guards, Roman, and then one camera guy. You can choose one to take out if you really want to to make this upstairs a little bit easier. But it's best to, um, yeah, try to leave all of them. One extra just in case. But there is three guards in the, uh, in the vault area that you're going to want to take out just so you can, uh, move bags without having to worry it'll save you some time down there you don't want a guard roaming around while you're trying to move bags so yeah you can take one out if you need to but yeah i always try to leave one pager just in case some shit happens uh, like while i'm trying to escape or something but yeah once you uh once you get the key card open that bitch up uh, the only other hard part here is trying to hack the uh, right computer depending on the spawns um you know, I, I don't really have a preference on where the vault is. It could be on either the side I'm on right now or the other side. Matter of fact, I forgot which. I think it's on the side I'm on right now. And then the computers will be on the opposite side, you know. There'll always be opposites there. Um, those plants can get in the way, so if you go by them, uh, you know, destroy them. You can get stuck on them when you're trying to hide from guards and shit. It's kind of annoying. But yeah, this hack over here can be kind of... Both hacks can be kind of annoying. You have guards that kind of, kind of walk through... Yeah, it's not too bad. Bane usually uh, gets the hack pretty quick. I rarely have to go to the other side for this. So, yeah. Pretty easy, man. And, um, I yeah, hope y'all like the, like the gun skins that I got on right now, bro. That's a, that's a custom shit with the, uh, uh, it's actually the Macaw skin for the Akimbo MP5s, I think. With the, uh, new Infamy 100 gloves, and it just looks fucking crazy. I really wish they dropped a better skin with Infamy 100, but it is what it is. I took a risk kind of doing that. I didn't know how long that guard has been there. He could have turned around and got my ass in there, but fucking GG. But yeah, the quality on this video should be a little bit better, too. It should be recording in 1440p. I guess we'll see that when I, uh, when I edit this shit. So hopefully everything recorded all good. Y'all will see this in 1440p. Should be real smooth and shit. Yeah, sometimes you gotta wait around for these guards to move and stuff like that. But yeah, they're not too annoying on this heist, like I said, because there's only them two guards that roam up top, and I already killed one, so I just have one that's up here. So yeah, not really too much to worry about. Hey, check the guard. Dude, kind of gotta be careful. Uh, when you jump down here, I usually just jump down right on top of the vault on either side. There's balconies that are sitting above both. So yeah, that's how I usually get down. But yeah, as long as you're over in this corner way over here, you should be fine from every guard. I know one guard can kind of go up to that um, metal detector that's right in front of me, right there. But for the most, most of the time, you'll be okay. Um, on the other side, 
I have had some bullshit happen where I've been as far as away as I can stand in the furthest corner and a guard just walked up to one of the other metal detectors and fucking spotted me. So that was some bullshit. But yeah, for the most part, you'll be alright. It's pretty rare that they walk up that close to you while you're down there. And here, um, your biggest enemy for real is the cameras. The guards kind of have pretty easy... Uh, like patterns where they follow you kind of know their locations like where they stop and shit like that they can stop um by the stairs or like kind of by the vault hey, the body bag case is out. uh they can stop over by the camera guy over by the glass over there where he is right now so, yeah and there's a few spots to kill him before you get the cams off but i like to get the cams disabled before i start killing any guards you know just in case because cams could really fucking ruin your day you know what I'm saying? And there's usually civilians in here. Not all the time, but yeah, I usually, uh, I usually do kill them last. They usually don't spot anything, but, uh, you know, me being me, I like to kill them motherfuckers. So, yeah, as you can see, all three guards are kind of, well, I have one guard coming over here and then one standing over at those stairs. Not a big deal. This guard, when they come down here, they usually come in this little area like he's going to do. And then you could shoot them into either room. Um, so yeah, you do gotta, kinda gotta be careful of the, um, the big ass glass windows that's over there. I shot him into the camera room, because the other guard was kinda more to the right, and I didn't want him to see him through the glass over there, so, yeah. He died in a decent spot, though, he would really, in front of those glasses and shit like that. So yeah, I could pick up his pager just fine. Shot the cameraman, you don't gotta shoot him, but it's a lot faster than having him stand up out of his chair, than have to shout at him, like, three, four times to get him on the fucking ground. It's just a lot safer to just shoot first, you know what I'm saying? Fuck the cable ties. Shooting a motherfucker, you gonna lose like what? I don't even know how much it was, like 10k? It's whatever, motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? And then once I get the cameras out, I just kind of take guards out as I go, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. Find the key cards, boom, put that motherfucker in. Jump on over that shit, put that in. You have a fuck ton of time, you don't gotta do it that fast. I think you got like 10 whole seconds to do that shit. Probably not, I don't know how much time it is here, but... Yeah, see, smoke that last guard, answer the pager, civilians gone, and now I have free roam in here. Cause yeah, that's why you want to save at least three pagers. Uh, just so you can wipe out this whole bottom area and have that free roam. So, yeah, from here, pretty straightforward. Grab the money, throw that shit. So, yeah, not much to say about that. Um, not gonna get all the money because at the time of recording this. I'm level 100. I'm still level 100. Um, so yeah, I'll probably go infamous soon. Maybe do some streams later. I don't know, bro. I've had this gameplay for a few days now. I just haven't felt like commentating this shit. It's fucking 10 a.m. Uh, on Thursday today. Y'all gonna see this video today too. So yeah, I recorded this. I don't know. I don't even know when the fuck I recorded this. I've had it for like three days though. So yeah, finally gonna get this shit uploaded. Um, then I'll probably go infamous. I'm tired of shit too, I just woke up. But yeah, I'll probably go infamous. So the next DSOD video, I don't know when it's going to be. I'll have to grind back up to level 100. I don't know what ice it is either. Um, I already did Green Bridge, so I'm still running through Classics. So I got Heat Street, Slaughterhouse, Panic Room, I think. Those three I can think of off the top of my head. I think I still have to do Panic Room, but I'm not sure. But yeah, I think those three are the last ones I have to do for a classic. So on the way back to level 100, I might uh, just find some stealth ones I could do along the way. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we'll see, bro. But yeah, as y'all as y'all know, I've said this before, Payday's just been kind of stale for me. You know, I've got uh, over 2,000 hours if you combine my console time with PC. I've got like... 1860 hours on PC than another probably 500 on console so yeah man uh not much stuff I just want to do on this game I'm just waiting for more content to drop I know they dropped the infamy um 3.3 update but it's just cosmetic stuff that I don't really care about like the only cosmetic you actually see that they gave you is the charm which I do really like I have it on my gun right now it's that nice blood diamond uh, thing. The gloves, which are my favorite reward they've probably dropped so far. 
and uh, the camo, which is fucking dog shit. That's why I'm not using it right now. They should have made a camo that matches the gloves and outfit and shit better. Yeah, the outfit is nice that they dropped the outfit and the mask is nice. But you don't see it in game, so it's not really too big of a deal for me. Be cool. But, yeah. Uh, coming out of here. And the vault is over here. It's a little bit harder to get out of. Um, Got to be a little more patient than if it's on the other side. When it's on the other side, you can just kind of run out and go to your right. And then just up the stairs and you're good to fucking go. Guard. But here, you have a few guards that can come in this room. Don't As you're going to see. But, uh, guard, stay quiet. yeah. Uh, if you come to the left over here, there's some tables guard. over there in the little kitchen area that guard, I just guard. run behind. And then once you're behind those, you're pretty much good to go. Just wait till it's clear. Um kind of got to be careful because of the like glass railings on the stairs when you're running up and you get to that little spot that i just was on um the guards can see you so yeah just kind of make sure nobody's in front of you when you do you run up and then wait, here wait, tell me i me really me. hate this I bitch right here some i've had a glitch out a few times to where um when i'd get up here uh she'd kind of despawn and then i'd have to wait for her to Inside. walk back up here again i don't know if they fixed that or not but open, yeah i know it was a problem Sweet. that i've had quite a few times so yeah once she opens the door i come in here kill everybody and you're good to go uh these two cops out here they don't always spawn so yeah you might not always have them these two civilians will always spawn so you can kill them uh, be careful if you try to do this uh, strat if you jump from too far or miss that um miss that stairs um you will fucking die so you know practice it and make sure you can actually um actually do it it's not hard at all but yeah you don't want to fuck up at the end of your high stuff you know i've fallen off those stairs before it's not fun but yeah bro throw the money in the back of the truck and boom you're good to go not much else to say man um see i'm gonna wrap this shit up bro i got streams coming soon videos coming soon maybe some more irl shit coming soon i did my study up video um might go might go shoot some shit so if you uh you know you're into the into guns and shit you want to see me shoot some shit then uh yeah i might do some uh some videos like that ammo is expensive as fuck right now but hey we're gonna see what we can do i get, I get the content for y'all so yeah bro that's it for this video leave a like if you want to enjoy it subscribe if you are new make sure you got the motherfucking notifications on so you don't miss it because you know like i said i got a lot of shit coming soon a lot of variety shit not just payday so yeah man got some shit coming soon so yeah, bro, that's it for this shit. I'll see y'all motherfuckers in the next that's one. Seven. That's eight. Hey, bring in the reaction. Done. And that's how you do it. Textbook execution, gang. Congratulations.